First off, there's just 24 hours left and my Kickstarter that's going on right now on how to make a freaking video game. If you haven't already, be sure to go check that out. And while you're over there, be sure to go check out update number two as we are giving away an Apple TV. Anyway, to the video. All right, how's it going everybody? Today we're gonna to be working on an email request that I got, which is how to go over to a random view controller after clicking a button. Basically, the guy was just wondering if there's some way that you can click a button and it heads over to a random view controller inside of your storyboard. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this. So the first thing we wanna do, we're gonna start from scratch. So Xcode, create a new Xcode project. This was single view application. Go ahead, click next, product name, whatever. Language, Swift, device is universal. Go ahead, click next. And I'm doing this fast because I know a lot of people just want to get straight to it, and yet I want to start from the ground up and not have anyone confused. So here we have it, we have our app, and now we can head over to our main.storyboard. And there we have it, this is our main.storyboard. Right now we just have our view controller right in the center here. Let's go ahead and add some things so that we can start switching scenes randomly. So the way we do this is I'm first going to add a button. I'm just going to click and drag the button right into there like so. Uh, this is just going to be the button that when you click it, it's going to head over to some random view controller. And then the next thing we need to do is just create some other view controller. So I'm going to click and drag this view controller right onto the scene. And then let's go ahead and add like two or three more of these. So let's go ahead and say this is our another view controller like so. And then let's go ahead and add one more. And I also want to add that this will work with tab bar, collection view, table view controllers. It's going to work with the whole spectrum of view controllers. We're just sticking to view controllers because we want this to be pretty simple. And then there we have our view controllers. Now, in order for us to programmatically head over to these view controllers, we need to just click on these view controllers, head over to the identity inspector right over here. And we're just going to say the identity storyboard ID. And this is where you're going to just name the storyboard what you want to name it. So in this case, I'm going to call this my first one. This is the first one that I want to go to. So I'm going to go ahead, type that in, click enter. And then the second view controller, this is going to be the storyboard ID of my second one. And then this last view controller right here, this will be my third. And then now that we've got that out of the way, the next thing we need to do is I want to differentiate this when we actually like switch over to the scenes. So I'm just going to add a few random objects. So for instance, I'll add a switch on this one, an activity indicator on this one and let's say a slider on this one. This way we can just differentiate between which view controllers we're actually going to. And now that we have this button on our scene, I'm just gonna go ahead, open up my assistant editor, and I'm going to right click or control click and drag from this button over to my view controller.swift. And we're gonna change the connection type to an action so that when we press the button, something's going to happen. And then for the name of this, I'm just gonna go ahead and say button pressed like so go ahead and connect that and there you have our button pressed action and now before we delve into the button pressed action we need to head up here and we're going to create a new array so this will be var array of names so this will be the array of names that are connected to our view controllers and we're going to set this equal to open bracket close bracket and this will be of course an array of strings and then just go ahead open close parentheses and then now inside of our view did load this is where we're going to add some things into that array of names so i'm going to say array of names will be equal to, and we're gonna set this equal to open bracket, close bracket, and then we could just go ahead and say quotes, comma, quotes, comma, quotes, comma, because we have three view controllers total. You want this for how many view controllers you have. And then for this first one, of course, the name of it was first. So I'm just gonna put first in there. This one will be second and this one will be third. And you wanna make sure that everything is spelt, capitalized properly, because if not, you're not gonna hit the right view controller. And then now instead of our button pressed, this is where we're going to pick a random view controller to go to. So first off, we're gonna count how many things are inside of our array of names. So we're gonna say let number of names equal, and I'm gonna set this equal to the array of names dot count. So of course we're counting how many names are inside of that array of names. And then out of this number of names, we wanna pick a random number. So we're gonna say let random number, and we're gonna set this equal to capital I and T open parentheses, and this will be equal to an arc for random, and then just say percent, and this will be the number of names that we put right inside of there. Now you'll be getting this error right now that says binary operator cannot be operands of UINT32 and INT. And basically what this is saying is our number of names right here is an integer. And the arc for random cannot work with integers. It can only use 32-bit integers. And we're just gonna go up here and say UINT32 open parentheses and then close parentheses at the end of that. That way we're converting our array of names right here straight into a UINT32 value. That way we can use it later on with our arc for random. And then with this integer right here, this is converting it back into an integer, which then we can use uh, to call our view controller properly. 
And then now that we have our random number, we want to grab the name. So we're going to say let our VC name equal, and I'm going to set this equal to our array of names. And then after this, you just say open bracket, close bracket, and we're just going to put in our random number. So that when we actually pick our random number, it's going to pick either a 0, 1, or 2. Uh, that's just the way that this whole arc for random thing is. We have three names, but it only picks the first three, so it's 0, 1, and 2. So in that case, with this array, we're picking either the first, second, or third. So this would be 0, 1, and 2. And then now that we have our view controller name, we're actually going to present our view controller. So the first thing I want to do is say let VC, and I'm going to set this equal to my storyboard dot instantiate view controller with identifier, like so. And then the identifier will be equal to our VC name. And there you have it, that is the view controller. Now we're going to present that view controller. Now in order for us to do this, we just do the simple self.present view controller. If you're doing your own custom thing, do it that way, but we're just gonna be using the simple way, so it's gonna be present view controller. So in this case, the view controller to present will be equal to our VC that we created right here animated we're gonna set this equal to true and completion will set this equal to nil and as you can see we have one little error that's just basically saying we want to add an exclamation point at the end of that but either way we're good to go so let's go ahead build and run this all right the simulator is loaded so let's go ahead and see if this works Woo! <laughs> all right so that's how you programmatically move over to a view controller as well as calling a random view controller but either way hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you did be sure to hit that like button down below and if you want to see more videos like this from me in the future be sure to subscribe app of the day will be the awesome the wonderful loop mania if you have an app, be sure to leave that down in the comment section down below. As I just want to see all of your apps, I actually have a folder on here in which I download everyone's apps. Uh, it's all my games and stuff. So be sure to send me your games and I will be sure to download them as long as they're not like a hundred bucks. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Every dog is just barking right now.